Hey, this is Doug for Game Shampoo, and we are back in Undertale, making another go uh, against Spider Dance. <sighs> yes, I heard what they just said. Yep, and the striped shirt is coming through. I really have no issue with spiders. No, that's someone else. That is so not me, let me tell you. Hmm. You know, if you hadn't been charging maximum money, I would have bought something. I know I said this all last time. I'm going to say it all again. Nope. There we go. Muffet. That's what you need is. Check. Should be using mercy this early. There we go. Leaving done. Huh. Yeah. This part's easy. A lot of people seem to want my soul, so the things. Cupcake. To my pet. It's breakfast time, isn't it? Have fun, you two! Now, this is easy. I got no problem with this. I have more an issue with that. Got a tank a number of hits. Ah. Alright, that shouldn't have happened. Okay, come on. go. Alright, come on. Alright. Don't warn me about that incoming croissant. I wanted to do that at least once. I kind of like that. Yeah, oh, dodgy, dodge, dodge. Dodgy McDodgerson. Alright, so every time I do that... Nope. Oh, went the wrong way there. There we go. Alright. Now the cupcakes are coming at me. Wow. Largely sitting toward the sides I do just to, you know, avoid things. Yeah, there we go. Dodge down. Come on. Ooh, double donut. I don't know what to do. Sorry, I can't help myself there. Do a discount. Nope. Went the wrong way there. Ooh. 
Now let's keep struggling. Alright. Alright, we're through. That's good. Double spider. Alright. Oh! Oh damn. I'm going to need to heal. <laughs> Not reading that right. <sighs> All right, cupcake time. I definitely need to reduce this. Oh, and this reading. Oh! Okay. Oh my god. Ah, a telegram from the spiders in the room. That's how close I was. I mucked up in the last stretch last time. Thank you, Muffet. Thank you for letting me go. Did nothing to you. I had no intention of doing anything to you. As opposed to our two star-crossed lovers kept apart by the tides of fate. Oh, wow. It's that close? Oh, that human! So this is happening. Could it be my one true love? What what even is going on here? What? What are you doing, Metaton? to see. And I'm enjoying this. Musical interludes are always amazing. Yeah, imagine. It definitely what dungeons generally do. Beat at least. Right. Okay. So sad that you're going to the dungeon. Well, toodles. Oh no. Whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon! A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly, my paramour will surely perish! 
Oh, heavens have mercy, a horribly colored tile maze. Each color has its own sadistic function. <sighs> ah, For example, a green tile sounds a noise and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will actually wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? That's right, you remember all the rules, don't you? Great, then I won't waste your time repeating them. Crap. Oh, and you better hurry. Because if you don't get through in 30 seconds, you'll be incinerated by these jets of fire. Oh, boy. Forget what the green tiles do? Oh, darling, that monster is me! How can this be? You're stronger than I thought, etc. And that's resolved. All thanks to you. <laughs> can I tell you something? Before I met you, I, I, I didn't really, I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I felt like a total screw-up. Like, I couldn't do anything without, without any up letting everyone down. But, 
Getting you through has made me feel a lot better about myself. So, thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway, we're almost to the core. It's just past MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. Oh. Wow, yeah, that is right around the corner. Oh, nice! I like getting the urine check. And I won't tell her about it. I think it just says, he seems now. I didn't see what she needs back that way. I probably want to go up. It's to the right. R3. What's this little dude? Okay, I think I broke the little dude's mind. <laughs> Not intentionally. Okay. Actually... I'll take a chance. It's probably a save point between here and whatever's coming. Oh, there's the sands. Hey! I have to creep the other way on the right for some great deals. Whoa. Huh. That's... You two. Freddy and Caddy. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Hey. Cool. Metaton, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Wow. Scientist. Huh. Whoa.
<laughs> All right, tell me about Asgore. Whoa. That I don't like so much. Okay. Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Chill. Thanks for treating me. Over here. I know a shortcut. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? Must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, Bato. So, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. And here, you've already got food, drink, friends. This is what you have to do. Really worth it? Ah, uh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey. Let me tell you a story. It's almost a century in the Snowden Forest, right? I sit up there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out, like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock knock. And suddenly, on the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who's there? So, naturally, I respond, dishes. Dishes who? This is a very bad joke. Then she just howls with laughter. Like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock knock. I say, Who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I didn't know you could yodel. Wow. Needless to say, this one was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Pyrus kind of gets cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again. And so I did. Then I did it again and again. It's a thing now. No oh, bad jokes through the door. It rules. One day, though, no, she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them. Will you not? Now, I hate making promises. This woman, I don't even know her name. But, someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. Do you know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything, buddy? Oh. You'd be dead where you stand. Hey, man up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. 
Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? Kinda? Heh. <laughs> well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Someone really cares about you. Where'd, where'd the dude go? As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation. But I didn't want to look like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kinda consuming do off this ficus. Where, where the hell am I? What's this? Okay. Wow. Huh. That tells me plenty. Wow. So comedian, very funny, huh? <sighs> Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I can imagine. No, none of those are particularly funny. Wow. It's a lot of things. Okay, going this way. Wow. All right. Okay. Well, let's rest up. Not good for this round. This has been Doug Zetteros. I will see you for the next episode of The Undertale Let's Play. Cheers, darlings.